I think about the Mars One mission. For, for those who haven't heard of Mars One, what, what it really means is Mars One Way. And the idea is uh, a lot of our exploration in the past has not been traveling a huge distance, staying there for a while, and then coming back. Especially our settlement, it's almost always been gather everything, go somewhere, and stay. And so some people have postulated, uh, since Mars is so far away, why don't we just plan to go there and stay right from the get-go? And so there's two guys in Holland that, that they decided, I think, in 2008, they said, why don't we just ask if anybody on Earth would be willing to sign up for that? If we could organize a ship, would anyone want to go one way to Mars? And online, some over 200,000 people expressed an interest in going. 200,000 people, at least tentatively, said, yeah, I'd go to Mars one way. Which was, to me, that's the most significant part of the whole project, that that many people express that level of interest in it. Uh, but there are no ships. There are no spacesuits. There are no rockets. There is no technology that allows us to protect ourselves from the radiation and have a completely closed-loop environmental system on the way to Mars. We would die before Franklin's crew did if we launched from Mars anytime soon. We would, we, it's not like we'd get to Mars and have some troubles. We'd die on the way there. We would die of, the, of this century's equivalent of scurvy and, and uh, tin in the, in the solder of our cans. We don't know what we don't know. It is, it's far too early in our level of technology to decide that our next destination ought to be Mars. We don't know what we're doing yet. And we have to somehow test all that equipment. Now, if, if the Earth were threatened, if we knew that life was going to be snuffed out on Earth in five years, no problem. We could start launching ships to Mars. Most of them wouldn't make it, but at least we could ensure survival of our species that way. But there's no rush. And Mars One is just really just a thought experiment. There are no spaceships. And if you're involved with Mars One, I would really recommend that tomorrow you start asking the hard questions. I want to see, if you go to the Mars One website, there is far more detail about how they are selling t-shirts than there is about the space suits. There are, the technology doesn't exist. They say, oh, we'll just buy it off the shelf. There is no shelf of Mars exploration hardware. It, it doesn't exist. So. Um, if I were one of the people interested in that, I would start asking the hard questions now. I, astronauts don't go take a little training somewhere and then ride in spaceships. We design spaceships. We test them. We make them safe. We incrementally work on them in simulators for years and years and years to make space travel even possible. And none of that's being done as part of the Mars project, so our Mars One project. So if I were interested in it, I would, I would start demanding loudly, publicly, right now, show me the hardware and, and who is developing it and how is the crew being involved in the development of that so that it has any chance of success. So uh, the idea is a good one. And the level of public support is interesting to see. But um, we're not going to Mars. I, personally, I don't think there's, we will ever go to Mars with the current level of engine technology that exists. I think it's like saying, in 1914, hey, why don't we fly across the Atlantic? Well, maybe you could, you know, get in one of those early 1914 airplanes and head west, but almost, probably all of them are going to crash before they get to North America. We just didn't have the technology safely to do it. And it took almost 50 years in the invention of the jet engine before we really could set up useful commercial flight across the Atlantic. It, it takes time. And eventually we'll get there, but, but I don't think it's going to be the Mars One model that does it.